Hey folks, we have not gotten our Speedway order, so I think for today, what I'm going to do, or at least what I'm going to start, is running all my brake lines and uh, see what we get. Should at least try to get my brakes going, seeing how we're very close to actually trying to do our first fire of the motor. Um, I know, past video, we did uh, the fuel system, so we're one step closer. I know on here we're going to have to deal with strengthening all this stuff up. That is like a known I have to do. I kind of have a loose idea how to do it because this is just, especially this, even if it's bolted on, this is going to be pretty flimsy. So we have to build some framing structure. I'll probably deal with that when I start doing the exhaust because that'll tie the two in together really nice. Uh, but I did pick up some quarter inch round rod, so at some point we're going to actually kind of finish this edge nice that's my idea i don't know what to do here but maybe i'll bring this up and it'll have just this tiny little lip or something maybe i don't know kind of make it up as i go anyways like i said first round let's just get the brakes all finished and plumbed that would be nice and then uh start with that and then we'll see where we get from there <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, we have the rear line run, both sides. They're down. We have to still like make some tabs to hold them, but they're run and they're out of the way of maybe accidentally bumping the frame. I had to make, I had to do this one twice. Uh, the first time I was too short, but we reused some of that line for the front. And then the second time I was too long. <laughs> it's kind of how she goes. Hey, you, that's in there. That's nice. Um, we go to the front. We got that in place. Uh, we got this here. Nothing. I don't have any clamps on anything or clamps or P clamps like to, to fasten it because we're going down and we're coming across here. Just like factory back up to the other side. And then up here and then we're going to tee up on top. Um, it's like got plenty of clearance away from the exhaust in the header. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a line here and then come up the firewall. Same with the rear line as a quarter inch line. Basically the quarter inch goes to the hose and then splits off the three sixteenths. So those are going to come up to the front. We're going to run both of those side by side and then we'll figure out how we're going to attach it to the master cylinder after. Uh, once we lower the truck down and have a peek, see how the brakes are going working up there. I know the prop valve is up there, so we'll probably take the lines off or yeah, we'll take the, the lines off the prop valve and we're going to reuse the fittings because they usually have goofy fittings that go inside of those. They're not just a standard quarter inch and a three sixteenths. Well, sometimes they are, but it's not very often. Anyways, we're going to do that. I've been doing everything on with this thing because while well, we're starting fresh and it's just easy to pull the lines on and off. You can't really use this unit um, on the vehicle. You'd almost need two people, somebody to hold the darn thing with a wrench or something because it just wants to do its thing in one spot, but it always works good. So you don't have a messed up flare using these things, I'll tell you that much. Uh, when I get to the top, I'll probably pull out my other hydraulic flare and we'll use, use that one because well, maybe we could pull. No, the one line is going to be pretty dang long because we got to go quarter inch all the way to the front. Hopefully this thing's long enough. I got a little piece here. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get the last bit of this done.
You've seen us do... Well, you've seen me. <laughs> run the brake lines there. Under here, you can see we've uh, run them. We clamped them. We've run them. Same thing with the inside of the frame. We've kind of run there. We've clamped it along. We kind of limped around our mount and we have it supported up on the firewall. So, And then in the back, I still got to come up and put some clips on here. Originally they had them up here, but I don't want to... I wanted to run it under the bags and then over in this area I wanted to keep it away from the diff doesn't actually contact the frame very close but so it's not that big of a deal but I just like to have a little bit of something holding everything in place there so that means the only thing left now is to bleed them I can't use my power bleeder because well the the adapter uh, never worked well with these style of master cylinders so kind of kind of hooped on that one I'll have to uh, get somebody to give me a hand and do the old pedal pump. I think it's just the fastest. I've done tons of different ways of doing it, but I don't need to have them bled right now, so it's not the, the end of the world here for me, but yeah. Just a little bit closer. I don't feel like doing a heck of a lot more tonight, so uh, I, think, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I've been spending half my day just... Farting around upstairs, kind of, we're starting to rough in the washroom or what I'd like to have as a washroom someday, but I'm just trying to close that part in. Everybody wants to see up here, so, all right. This is still a work in progress, but we're, uh, we're getting there. So we can do a little bit of editing there. The plan is eventually have some more shelving here so I can put my, uh, some vinyl from here over there. I'll have the sewing machine here, but I want to be able to park it up to this thing. And then I still have to cut something. We can drop something on top and then it's an extra big workbench. That's kind of the idea. And then over here, Esther has her little area. She's working on slowly here, getting her stuff going. Yeah. It's, uh, it's what it is. I know a lot of you folks have been wondering. Well, there you go. <laughs> It's been, it's been a long time coming. I've been spending a lot of time here. All my free time, I've been kind of getting that thing all ready. Rolly hasn't been around. I don't know, probably busy with work. So nothing's really happened here. We've ordered some parts. He uh, did reverse his spring. So, and I think I have a little bit of video of that. And uh, well, you can see there, he was just running it through the press. So I think he had it jigged up here. That was the spring. And then uh, he just slowly just went, I think two inches at a time, just kept walking it through the press until we got the reversed version of said arc. So I think that's uh, about where I'm gonna call it tonight. And uh, We'll get back at it tomorrow, figure out what we're gonna do. Well, we gotta bleed the brakes. And then, uh, I'm still waiting on Speedway. I got, half my order came and UPS is is huge. We always have troubles with UPS out here. So, um, but that part should be in tomorrow, I think. So we will put the motor together and hopefully maybe just give it a little squirt of gas and see if she fires up. That's the plan. And over here, the boy's doing uh, work on his truck. He's doing some rust repair, fixing things up. So you see that in the background. Not my forte. I only like to cut these things apart. I don't like to... <laughs> I don't actually like to fix them. Right, guys? Yeah, you guys know I don't like that stuff. All right. Huh. Let's call her a night, eh, boys?
Alrighty. Now, we finished all the welding. I welded the, I capped this. We moved this filler to that corner and I moved this over just so when the rad works, hopefully it doesn't just, well, it might just get hot on one side. Now it'll have to flow across. Anyways, I got a, a pressure tester, so we'll give her a whole bunch of pumps here. Hopefully this thing works. And uh, we'll pressure test this thing. Make sure I got no leaks. I mean, it's got an air chuck. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> so stick with this for now. I gotta add a lot of air, or I have a really big leak in here. Maybe that's my problem. Clearly it's not sealing good here. This thing's not batting so well in my books here. Hit it with some looby doob and see what happens here. There we go. <laughs> Alright. I didn't think it would take that much effort. Now I know why I want to do compressed air in there. I'll take it up to 15 pounds and we'll see. Man, that's a workout. One leak. Two leaks. Dang it. Darn it. Well, we're doing good over there. Cool. All right. Well, we had to fix this neck. It was a little wobbly, but we got that in order. We're slowly dropping. We got one leak right on top there. And right there. That's like I was saying with the fuel tank. You can see the tiniest little pinhole there, and that's just where they leak. All right. Well, I'm going to blow that off and uh, we will quickly give that a quick little zap and uh, we'll try this again. At least the stuff I had to mess around with the most didn't leak. Look at that, eh? So we took the filler from here, we moved it to the corner. I kind of just blew everything out into the corner a little bit so that we, uh, whatever. It's got good flow, but it kind of already tilts down, so it should be... It should fit better. When we put that in, it should be lined up more with the filler neck, hopefully. All right, well, these two should be simple to fix. Uh, I'm gonna blow it off. We're gonna zap it really quick, and we'll do one more pressure test. And uh, I think it's about ready to throw in the truck. We kind of did all of our modifications that we needed to do to it.
All right, what I'm doing is we're putting slugs in here. Uh, I'll show you after, but actually no. I'm gonna put rib nuts in here, but because it's in the aluminum, I'm just worried it'll pull out. So I'm putting a washer behind it, just so, I don't know. I feel it'll be stronger. And it's really hard to get at that place, like to put a nut and a bolt in the, in the chassis. So this is my, my way of cheating, I guess. Some of this is a little close to the corner, so I don't know, it just gives it a little extra meat. At least that's my thought. If you've never used this before, what it is, I don't know, they call it a rib nut or something? You kind of put this on, you squish it and it's like a rivet, it actually mashes it down. And, uh, well. I can't weld a nut on there, so it's kind of like one of those things, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Other than now, our rad has on the back side, I don't know if you can see. See, it's kind of riveted, it's mashed, we got extra support in there, so hopefully nothing comes apart. And then we can uh, stab this back in the truck here. All right. In she goes. Now we can. Get a nice nut and bolt set up. I think we got the room for the flat washer. Well, that's okay. Boy, look at that. Even this lower hose works. The weird one I had on there. use silicone spray just to get hoses started. I don't know its actual purpose. <laughs> All I know is it kind of dries up and it gets a little tacky. Probably the wrong way to use it, but it works for me. Here in this upper one, I think we're good. Oh, I need much bigger than that. <laughs> Golly! All right, ten trips later. This one's gonna be too big now. I don't know. That one's about right. Make this work. Well, an abundance of hoses is never a bad thing. We managed to find what we needed out of there. Hmm. It should work though. Uh, if some of you are questioning over here what I've been destroying this rad, I needed some good aluminum because I don't have any loose chunks anymore. So this was, I guess it was some kind of um, warranty thing or something because it was leaking in the core. So I just cut out whatever I need to do usually. And well, if I have to move a rad, we got arms and that's ah, just nice aluminum. Other than that, my disaster of a bench. When we pressure tested, uh, I had one of these things. You get these little kits. And uh, 
it works really good when you get the uh, the leaks out of the way. <laughs> so anyways, we got the rads in, it's hooked up. Uh, I gotta have to still do my transmission lines. That's still a plan there, but uh, lower hose is on, upper hose is on. It is bolted in. I don't know if you can see in there. You can see the little rib zerks. So then we just got them bolted in up in the front. So that's good. I don't think I got the room to run a mechanical fan because I can just see how uh, the if I want to use that trans cooler, and I might. It's uh, the fan's too close, so that's just not going to work. So I'll have to order up just like a Mondo big electric fan because I do want to put AC in it. So we're going to need to move a lot of air. Let's put it that way. What do we do now? I think we'll put the carburetor on. We will do the plug wires. I don't have any exhaust gaskets, but you know, just to, just to fire it, I don't think it should be a problem. Hopefully we got some other stuff in today that we can uh, start to do some wiring and some other things like that. It'd be nice if it was mobile. It doesn't need to go anywhere, but it'd be kind of cool. Oh yeah, I still haven't bled the brakes. We gotta do that yet. <laughs> uh, that's gone, so that doesn't do me any good. I can't, uh, maybe I'll wait for Esther to give me a hand. Anyways, I have to collect a few parts and do a little bit of cleanup here. And then we'll be right back. Well, folks, I definitely didn't get as far as I thought I was going to get this round, but hey, we have our brakes are in, working. Uh, I still have to do emergency brakes, right, Pop? And, uh, well, fuel system's in. We did that last round. We got the emergency brakes. We got the cooling system figured out. So we have to go scooch and get a whole bunch of parts, but... I call it a win. I uh, basically went shopping in the sheds there, found a bunch of stuff. Uh, we have a bunch of shocks. I know they don't look good, but they are, they're good. So I got to see if they are the right size. We can use those in the back. You got to do some shocks in the front. Um, rummage through. I found a good set of plug wires. So we got those. I found an e-brake setup dealio from an S10, which should work really good. And then we should have no problem adapting it to the original cables. They're all free, so we'll kind of get those all in place. I've used these in the past and they fit nice inside the kick panel on the side here. So we'll do that. We have to have emergency brakes here to get through inspection and stuff. So it's just a necessity and it's not a bad thing to have. Uh, what else we got here? I dug around, I found a fan, I have some random belts. We got 
our cable and a gas pedal, so that should be all good. I found the little bracket I needed for the power steering. And from that Dodge that I built years and years ago, when I bought the AC unit for it, it came with one. I didn't really want to do this, but I have it, and I don't know where else I'm ever going to use it. So I guess I'm going to try to figure out how to build a bracket on here. And if we got room over here, and we got like this double serpentine thing, so we should be able to just mount it over here, I'm going to guess. And then I have to find, I have a bunch of compressed uh, condensers, but uh, I always, I have them all stuck out in the back in there. I just take them off modern cars. And I'm going to figure a way to adapt them to use. I'm trying to just basically build the, the AC just out of hot garbage that I have lying around. So the pump I've had, that van that we tore apart had two of these units in it. So I don't know how they'd be. I think I have a similar one in my Buick, but it doesn't work so well. But this cab is going to be so small. Maybe it'll actually work a lot better. We'll see. So I could fit under there. And then who knows we'll figure something out that's for sure yeah i don't know we've made progress we're a couple steps forward um i really wanted to get the motor running this round but i'm waiting on a whole bunch of parts i finally today got in my speedway so we have my valve covers but i don't have gaskets and then uh we got some parts for Rolly's hot rod over there so yeah I think uh, well, we got a whole bunch to do, but I think we're gonna have to wait for the next round for that. Um, so, like I said, I think uh, this is where I'm gonna leave this one. Uh, I wanna thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.